Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Karen Mikowski. I'm the leading investigator on any of my cases, parapsychology or paranormal investigations. Welcome. Okay, it's a bit of a coffee day for me today. <laughs> hmm. So today I am going to be discussing uh, predictive intuitive intelligence data report P uh, case PDPC04. So this, um, hmm. Okay, the downloaded date for this message um, was the uh, 6th of April, 2023. Now, I'm gonna pretty much discuss the message and then I'm gonna be basically um, explaining why it's important and then hopefully giving us some sort of a solution as to what I would do. If you want to take my advice, you don't have to, but because I was getting a lot of intel and I was getting some clear audience messages on what it's best to do um, under the circumstances you can take the advice or not but this is for pretty much the collective so um it's a very important case and it's really interesting because when i was when i was visually seeing the visuals and everything and and getting the messages i immediately came out of this like i'm not even surprised by this and um yeah, there, there will be an aftermath, unfortunately. So I'm going to discuss the message first, and then I'm going to give the clear audience mess, um, the clear audience messages too, um, and then pretty much sort of again go from there. But and obviously, why it's important is uh, it's important, but I need you to understand why, and then obviously we can come up with some sort of solution. So now. Um, I was literally seeing medical tyranny. Um, very, I think we understand what I'm talking about, where I'm going with this. Um, there's been a lot of, a lot of death over the past few years. A lot of loved ones. A lot of people lost a lot of loved ones. There was a lot, and when it comes to, uh, I'm not going to say the word, but you know, the, so what we're dealing with, the after, the after, you know, the effect through fear what people did through fear and um, what they did during that fear without doing any research or anything and then obviously there's an aftermath to that but the aftermath is unfortunately um, the loss of loved ones but it was more to do with the loss of loved ones during lockdown now and it was more it was all to do with um, the lack of dignity at the end, medical tyranny. There was a lot of medical tyranny going on. We know that because um, we were dealing with doctors that were losing their licenses. Um, nurses being pretty much ostracized or in some way sort of let go. You know, however, there were, like a lot of people were sort of fired back then because they wouldn't go against the oath. Um, and then they spoke out like they wanted, they, these are the same people that spoke out I like don't you know if they gave valid medical reasons as to why what was really going on and why we people needed to research more so but because people were so focused on the media and the narrative and the fear from that they didn't do any research and they were pretty much lining their own children up to get pretty much um well i don't need to say but that doesn't mean it was right or wrong it's just excuse me there's a level of ignorance even there's a level ignorance will not save you and there's a level of ignorance that you can adopt but if you're not willing to just do a little bit of research and you're going to base everything your whole life's based off fear and what the tv's telling you um you, that's kind of, you have to take resp uh, self-responsibility for that unfortunately so but pretty much what i was sort of seeing was a collective of um, loved ones coming together um, and really sort of premeditating a plan to get revenge on the medical field. Um, I mean, I do have the what the visually what I was seeing, but I'm not going to discuss that because I'm not going to put these ideas into people's heads either because I don't believe in vigilante. Vigilante behaviour doesn't work where the um, message was you have to remember again not all not all doctors went against the oath not all nurses went against the oath unfortunately a lot did 
and you know you go against the earth you're, you're, you're pretty much done at some point I mean justice will prevail they will they will get there you know they will literally have to uh, reap their own justice for that at some point um, they're not immune from laws of karma or the laws of the justice system unfortunately is rigged and they and they, you know it's not exactly a good justice system anyway but true justice will come it will prevail it always does and evil never wins it only it only so, it looks like it's winning and it only gets away with stuff for so long but evil never wins it's you know history will just teach you that just got to do some research so so the message like I say, I was sort of seeing the visual of what's being premeditated, what's being planned behind me, you know, the scene, and obviously it's being seen in her, so that's why I had to give this message. Um, now, the following came from Claire Audience. Medical revenge. You took our loved ones, we will take you. We know who you all are. Earthbreakers started this war and the result of medical tyranny. So, like I said, I was sort of seeing the visual of what was being premeditated, what was going to happen, what, what people were planning to do on a vigilante scale. Um, and then, obviously, the messages came through to sort of confirm that. Um, so, that was like, um, that was pretty much the message. So, why is this important? Here's why it's important. When you understand the system and who controls this system, we all understand what the matrix system is. It's not a conspiracy theory anymore. When you understand the system, you understand what's going on, you understand who controls that system. And, they pat and there's so many different systems within the big system. I call it the magnificent system because it was created so magnificently. The fact that it's still so powerful and active two day, thousands of years ago. So you're talking about how powerful that... So Calling it a magnificent system isn't a compliment at all. It's just it, so for something to be so effective and still powerful in this day and age with the technology we've got is pretty much quite magnificent when you think about it like that. And the fact that so many people are mind controlled and brainwashed and everything that they keep f uh, enabling this system through ignorance and fear. So, and but. All the other little systems is everything that's wrong within the system. So there's all different areas of life. And again, unfortunately, we're finding out now medical tyranny is a big problem within the healthcare, in the healthcare system. And that's just not here in the USA. This is all, this is global. Um, and I was very, I was very aware of what was going on in England with the NHS staff and things like this. And there's a lot of nurses speaking out and the atrocious behaviour. But then there was a lot of them just like they didn't give it, they did not care. They did not care that people would die and they just didn't care. It's like, well, I'm not losing my job. It's all about the money and the paycheck. So, again, when we're talking about that lack of dignity at the end for people, that's what really, that's what really fueled this sort of premeditated plan to get medical revenge, to stop this medical tyranny. Unfortunately, what I was seeing was that's not going to fix that because all you're going to do, the system is already prepared for this aftermath revenge avenge they're already ready and they're going to they, they don't even have to create a false flag or anything because you're going to do that for them you're just going to do it but you're also going to um give them the power to continue more control from gun control from all sorts of control you're going to by doing this by um uh, getting revenge, the system through emotions and not critical and logical thinking, you are literally going to uh, you're literally going to just sacrifice yourselves into the narrative that's going to create based on you. So unfortunately, there'll be no sort of you, your loved ones will have died in vain. Don't let that happen. Um, so I was very aware of, and it was sort of like multiple locations too. And I didn't, I could, I didn't get dates of when this was going to happen, and I didn't get specific locations. But what I'm trying to say is, it, it's almost like I don't know if this is active now, where people are actually plan, coming together and planning, or oh, it's going to happen in the future, where people are going to realise what's truly happened, what's the uh, the the aftermath effect of what who they lost and everything, and this big. Um, 
the truth when it, the truth always comes out anyway but when the truth finally comes out that's going to send a lot of people over the edge but it's going to cause a collective going to vigilante mode that's not you yeah, but i would not recommend you do that but anyway so i was sort of seeing um what was happening um what was sort of being plotted remember what's been planned plotted and seen here on the third dimension physical well is seen on higher dimensions different dimensions what what is seen here what is happening here and plotted and everything is seen on 5d so obviously i'm going to get downloads and people like me are going to get this sort of information to come through and give you this message it's so you know if this has already been plotted um i'm going to give you the result i'm going to give you the message anyway but a solution to that and why um and why it's not going to work which is kind of what i'm sort of explaining it's all to do with you're going to basically feed into a, a narrative they're just waiting for because remember um they have a good idea of how people react they know how to they know how to create fear it's, it's kind of control chaos understand that and you'll understand how the system works control chaos is all fear-based and it's all about compliance and when you awake that sleeping giant <laughs> Even they know, the, the system knows, the people that control and run the system know the days are numbered. They know it. That's why they're pushing harder. And that's why they're pushing, and that's why they had to go to the length of this genocidal way of doing things. I, saw, I already foresaw this. I was already shown this back in 2018. And everybody was like, oh my God, Cara, oh my God, you're a bit crazy. Well, not, not too crazy right now, am I, obviously, because I already foresaw and had a video about all of what was coming called the warning back in 2019 just before 2020 kicked off obviously i'm not looking that crazy now because everything i was talking about has happened and it's still happening but then i was already shown obviously the aftermath but also during the whole thing it, and it, you know the, there's a period where it's going to get worse before it gets better but I also that i saw the defeat of this evil right i really foresaw that and it's amazing because that's what gave me sort of hope like okay I mean, you could just go and watch my video, the warning, if you want to understand what I'm talking about. Um, but, and there was a lot of metaphors in that, in, in that visual and everything. So you can sort of check those out too. But um, it's not like these warnings weren't given back, you know, long before everything kicked off. Everything happened. But that's, you know, it's, it's, it's really sad. But it's so important to understand how this world works, who controls. Remember, the elites, they run our lives, they don't rule them. They just run our lives through the banking system, educational system, every freaking system that was created by this system, right? They run our lives, literally, financially, everything. But they don't rule you. You can you can snap out of that matrix system anytime you want to, you can escape it. I mean it's not you're not completely free of it until it's completely decimated and they are tr literally being decimated from within it which is great to see too but you can you can live the life you want to but you're going to get away from this pretentious crap that's not real this materialistic world you think is real you think that's a reality no it's not you're delusional and you're only delusional is because you've been fed spoon fed into your brain to think this is how you're successful this is what happens this is what you need in life but in order to get that that's fed into you through the entertainment industry and that silly little black box, right? It's, uh, you will, depending on how much you want and how high you're willing to go, you're going to have to sell your soul. Understand your soul and you'll understand everything. Your soul is important. You're an energy source. Your energy source is literally your soul. Your soul. And I'm a doctor of the soul. So I understand how important it is. I work with souls. I transition souls. Um, I'm always trying to help people cleanse their souls because it, this is just a vehicle. Okay, take care of it in this life, you know, or you have, during this human experience. But understand this, it's, it's, this is not the be all and end all. There's no true death. Energy can't die, it doesn't die, it just moves to a different dimension or a different location, depending on how, we, how you see the world and what you believe in. So that's why it's important to understand what we've been dealing with. And this is just a very sinister side of what we've had to deal with unfortunately medical tyranny and they were they were not they did not hide anything of it either they did not hide it i remember and you remember i'm a minister 
And I remember thinking, oh, God, I need to go into those hospitals and do all less rights and do, you know, be there at the end for these people, priests, ministers. Nobody was getting in. A lot of people died with zero dignity. And uh, even ministers, and like I say, we weren't even allowed in. You see what I'm saying? It, that was the most despicable evil act you can do ever. And that just showed me and, and made me realise how evil these people truly are. That they won't even let innocent people who are on the deathbeds, who have to die alone because they won't even let their families and loved ones in. And they won't even let ministers in and, and pastors and priests, etc. to give last rites. That should tell you exactly how evil these people are. You need to understand that. So what I was seeing was the aftermath of what really truly angered a lot of people. And I was not surprised to see that. And I feel like there's going to be a lot. I, mean, I feel like I'm going to get constant messages in the very near future to try and give out to the collective. Don't, for the love of God, this is what they're waiting for. Don't do it. Um, and I'm happy to do that because... Oh, I'm sorry, I just want to... Because I refuse to adopt that sort of... Um, I refuse to adopt that bystander effect. I'm not that sort of person. I I do the right thing. I don't care if doing the right thing means I'm going to be ostracised by society. Who gives a shit? I don't care about that. I care about doing the right thing by people. So if there's a very important message that I need to give to the collective to save them, to help them, to hopefully give them different options of just don't fall into the narrative don't be so drawn in and don't be emotion based and of course I'm going to give I'm going to always help my fellow men and women my fellow human beings it's just how it is right if we can reach one person that's okay if I can reach one person to change their mind and not fall into the agenda that's already been predetermined and set up waiting for the emotional effects coming in the future I'm going to try my best because I don't I'm not I don't adopt that bystander effect. No. I don't like seeing wrongs done to people. I like to write, I like, if I can find a way to write the wrong, or at least help people see, ooh, you might need to think, no, 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 no. No, I'm always going to do the right thing. I guess I'm going to give a solution, and now the solution, one of my solutions is, and what I was also hearing was, um, I mean, this is what can be done. Whether you want to take my unsolicited advice is entirely up to you. I'm not here to infringe on anybody's free will, but I'm a true speaker. And I'll always do the right thing by people. So if that means I'm going to be singular, singled out, ostracized, called all the names under the sun. Okay, then. I mean, I've got a little violin somewhere because I just don't give shit. Right? So... Action date now. So action date was pretty much right now. Action to take. Now this is what I was hearing and action um, for the peoples who are going, if they're not already plotting and planning, they're going to be. Tell the grieving families who are planning to become vigilantes to stand down. Tell them this is what the evil system wants and they cannot win and they do not win which is what I was sort of explaining. Um, this is the way you, you can't win. You're not going to win this. Regardless of the method you take to, to become the vigilantes for medical revenge, against the medical tyranny and all that kind of stuff, you're not going to win. Because already you're dealing with a system of people, an evil system created by evil people that already know how you're emotionally feeling. What they already... Um, it's a, it's a cause, and, cause and effect. They already know what's coming. They know how people are going to react. They're already ready for the revenge and everything. So, and then I heard they have lost enough. Tell them there are many ways to get justice for the loved ones, which I'll come to in a moment. And then come together in peace, love and grief, and fight the system legally, which I was going to say, not mercilessly, legally. Examples need to be made of them, but do not matter these people. They are soulless. So that was the action um, 
the action to take the, the message I got for uh, a, a solution to don't don't buy into this and um, don't fall into the agenda any more than we already have don't keep buying this narrative don't think critically now now you understand what you're dealing with you need to come together as a collective all of us create a foundation if you all want to come together to get revenge and create the create these nationwide foundations for your loved ones that you lost come together as a collective together get as many um, lawyers together etc and fight them take um, get justice legally and do not matter these people ever they're soulless creatures it's true then they, they, they don't care they didn't care they still don't care and they're never going to care so don't give them what they're waiting for um take get get justice it may take a lot longer but <clears throat> at that way if you go the different routes of uh, vigilante and mercilessly taking revenge your, your loved ones will have died in vain because they're going to turn the switch the narrative around on you and make you all look like well this is why we need all this control this is why we need gun control this is why we need this sort of control this is why we need this control it's all about control people <clears throat> and they'll use every everything that you do they will turn it around back on you so your loved ones will have died in vain don't do that create a beautiful foundation of justice right do this legally and make sure every single loved one's name is recorded and make them then you know they stood for something and that you had to lose them for something but the greatest revenge if you're going to go down that route do it legally don't don't do the vigilante way that that's that's what they're waiting for they know by doing they know by getting justice legally it's going to take a long time and it is a process right so they don't care they're like, well, I don't care, I'll just keep it in my million dollar set of whatever, right? My huge, I don't care. You need to make a statement for real justice. And yes, it's a, it's a time process, but you will win. Because remember, this didn't just happen to you people. It happened to people, it happened to lawyers' loved ones. So there's a lot of lawyers out there that lost loved ones during all of this and probably start thinking oh, I can't believe I can't believe that right you all need to start coming together create nationwide foundations in your countries to take to get justice on your corrupt governments your corrupt medical tyranny and your corrupt health workers etc you need to understand again understand the system but when you when you do it properly and legally oh, then you will get justice it's just a little bit more time consuming so i would highly recommend you go out that route not the mercen no not not the vigilante um because like i say you will end up these people become martyrs why should they don't you think they've done enough so um yeah and, and again like i say during the visual i was literally seeing like the whole as people were taking revenge i was just seeing the whole mainstream narrative and the governments and like look this is why we need gun control this is why we need this this is they didn't even need to create a false flag because you did it for them because you fell right into their hands so but oh yeah the media loved it what i foresaw the media absolutely went to town with it evil creatures on those you've got to turn those news channels off they're vile they're just the part, again the part of the problem and the part of the system you need to go to independent if you want news you need to go to independent true journalists that are all about the truth not paid liars and all that kind of crap so and then if you want true justice within the medical field get seriously create this foundation get like get the legal get justice and have all of these doctors that went against the earth have their licenses stripped all those poor doctors that lost their licenses for speaking out why why did they lose theirs in the evil career because they're part of the problem so now you need to start turning getting justice those that went with those that did not go against the earth they need to be um basically reinstated immediately 
and I'm probably sure most of them have now. But the ones that went against the earth and really, oh God, they're the ones that need to have their licenses removed. That would be the start of justice. Why do they get to continue having a career, etc. After what they did, they got blood on their hands. And they didn't care. So, I mean, that's pretty obvious now. Everybody can see that. Everybody's seeing that. Seriously, this, and excuse me, and this is something... There's something they need major sort of reform in this medical field anyway. I mean, it's, um, it's obviously controlled by big pharma. Who do you think pays these? Not very good doctors. All nurses and stuff like that. Good God, not all nurses and doctors are like that. Thank God. Oh, can you imagine? I mean, I've I was speaking to a lot of uh, a lot of nurses over the past few years. I mean, the good doctors, they just kept their mouth shut. They're just like, oh, I'm not going to win this one. Uh, this is a battle that I can't. It's not that they went against the earth. It's just that they they just didn't want to discuss it. They just, And I, I understand that. But the nurses were like, oh, my God, we, we, this is so wrong. This is so wrong on every level. And I remember conversations with great nurses and, and they pretty much do most of the work anyway. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> we go to hospital, you know. You know, they don't get the credit they deserve and when you have these great nurses and they're threatened and ostracised and, all, oh, God, it, that's just so wrong on every level. And then you've got the other nurses, the little toxic gossipers, like, oh, we just don't care about the patients and we just don't care. They're in the wrong field, first of all. They should not be in the medical field anyway. But that's just my personal opinion on that. Um, I've come across a lot of those too, unfortunately. So, um, and I'm not, and, and the other thing, um, my, my final thoughts on this as to why I, I have a problem with this is while all of these poor people were pretty much dying in hospitals, right? And all the pe people were love it, losing their loved ones. And you have all of these great nurses like trying to do everything they can to sort of do everything the right way. And then you've got these pieces of shit idiots doing TikTok videos in the hospitals. While the patients are dying. Yeah, there's something very wrong with that. That was disturbing during lockdown and during the last three years. That that's still the most important thing is making TikTok videos in hospitals. And people are dying in the rooms next door. And then you've got these other great nurses getting threatened to be fired and everything. Losing their careers while that crap's going on. Seriously, there's something obviously wrong with that. And if you're not understanding that. You're so brainwashed. I'm never ever going to get TikTok. I just they. That's a different type of um. Different type of asylum. That place. To tell you, there's something wrong with that. Um, again, just understand this. All of this genocidal stuff has been going on for the past few years, but everybody's just like TikTok, 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 TikTok. Uh, you should be thinking about TikTok, TikTok. Times up. That's the only TikTok I'm focused on, not this crap. Like, okay, let's distract ourselves and, you know, sell our kids to, for entertainment purposes. No, 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 no. There's, you know, you've kind of lost, you, you've, you've lost the, the reality you live in is, it's not real. Um, so, I feel like, I'm, I'm going to be agreeing with uh, my source on this one. Um, higher source is literally just um, come together in peace, love and grief and fight the system legally. Absolutely. Not mercilessly. Examples need to be made of these um, evil people. But do not matter these people. They're soulless. And they don't count. Um, because they, they know their days are numbered anyway. They know their time's already, already up anyway. Again, it's just a sacrificial numbers game. That's all it is. When you understand the system, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And it is as deep, dark and rooted as that. So, um, I would highly recommend, if you want to, again, you don't have to. But I would highly recommend, you know, all of everybody just come together and create a foundation and make sure your loved ones names are 
written because they'll become a part of history. And once their names are written and they're in print, that is it forever. So, and when you beat the system, when you beat these evil people and you get the justice, your loved one's name is, it is everything. That's how you defeat evil from within. But you have to do it legally. You have to do it the right way. I know, we, I understand again, the justice system is so corrupt and disgusting and rigged. But there are some great lawyers out there too. And there still are some great judges. It's just finding them. That's all. So, but please don't fall into the, the agenda any, fair, any more than we already have been shoved into it. Let's not do that. Um, let's remove the emotion now. Let's go with logic and critical thinking. And I'm just sort of speaking as a collective. And let's do things properly. Let's think caref um, you know, carefully to think clearly. And, you know, just research now and, and do the right thing. Always do the right thing. Evil all will always win when good people do nothing. That's it. That's history alone. Evil will always prevail when good men and good women do nothing. You enable it by doing nothing. I know you think, well, it's not, I'm not involved in it and it's nothing to do with me. It's everything to do with us. If you're a good human being, you do the right thing. That's why evil continues to win. That's why bad people continue to destroy people's lives. You have to come together as a collective and do the right thing. And do it the right way. So I hope that helps a little bit. And um, But I feel like if this isn't already happening, or it hasn't, if it's not already been planned, etc., I feel like... Um, it's going to be very soon and there's going to be sort of signs of it so if you do come across sort of collective organizations and people getting together and you, you're very aware of you know oh oh yeah I you know there's a lot of planning and tactics going on but then you, you remember this video just sort of take heed that whatever you're planning to do vigilant you know vigilance and merciless you're not going to win and you do not win it's already been foreseen and I'm trying to protect you guys and gals to not lose everything so i hope that helps and i will see you all again very very soon